So I thought we might go through some of these, right? Um, I've got visual aids. <laughs> I realise it sounds bad when I say it like that. I don't mean I was walking through a park and I saw two homosexual men having sex and a bit must have got in my eye. <laughs> and now I've got all AIDS eyes. I don't mean that. I mean, I've got some pictures to help. These are slightly more challenging, bear with me. <laughs> if a giant ape and a table tennis champion got into an argument over a karaoke machine, would the newspaper headline be King Kong, Ping Pong, Sing Song, Ding Dong? <laughs> I'm writing a diet book. It's called Put That Down, Fatty. <laughs> Pedophilia is wrong. It's paedophilia. <laughs> of course, the main cause of paedophilia, good-looking kids. <laughs> Could you blame them? I was adorable. <laughs> Do you realise if you put your teeth in Coca-Cola overnight, you'll drown? People actually believe Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon. Bullshit. <laughs> it was Mr Takeshi, a gardener from Nagasaki, who was standing next to where the bomb landed. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> they say it's bad luck to put up an umbrella indoors, but I think if it's raining indoors, you've already had your bad luck. <laughs> the problem with unidentified flying objects, you UFOs is if they identify them, they're just flying objects, FOs. And then if they land, it's just no. <laughs> I saw an O. Oh. <laughs> lofts. Lofts are magical places where it's always Christmas. <laughs> it only happens once a year, but when I collect the Christmas tree in the car, it looks like I've overdone it on the air freshener. If we are going to put an end to global poverty, now is the time to stock up on trainers. <laughs> I'm joking. We're not going to put an end to global poverty. <laughs> they now make non-alcoholic cider. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, that's apple juice. <laughs> One in three Scottish women is clinically obese, as are the other two. <laughs> When you think about it, a bowls club full of pensioners is like an upside-down graveyard. <laughs> if ever I'm in a cemetery, I like to think that's what's going on underneath. <laughs> Whenever I talk to an old person, I always think, what a privilege. But they never thank me. <laughs> of course, talking to an old person is like having access to living history, which is a lot like normal history, but reeks of piss. <laughs> There is a law that states pregnant women can urinate anywhere they want. Brilliant news. I think my nana might be pregnant. <laughs> the big shopping centre near us is called Lakeside, and my girlfriend said the other day, Lakeside is so crowded, no one goes there anymore. <laughs> we were in the car. She said, where would we be without sat-nav? I was looking after a friend's cat while my friends went on holiday and I was worried about overfeeding the cat, so I asked her about it because I thought, well, she'll know about that sort of thing. Here's what she said. She said, don't worry, cats aren't pigs like dogs. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> cats aren't pigs like dogs. <laughs> Good, well, that's really clarifying. Things. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr and uh, I'm announcing a new tour. It's called Jimmy Carr Laughs Funny because, you know, I do. I go to jimmycar.com for dates and tickets, and then, uh, you know, I guess buy a ticket and come and see the tour. I laugh funny, so can you. Come and see me.